never stops. LBC News. Now, next uh, on LBC News, psychiatrists are calling on mental health providers to stop using suicide risk assessments immediately. The Royal College of Psychiatrists says they're a tick box exercise which leave people without support. Despite national guidelines advising against the tools many local trusts are still using them. It is in fact World Suicide Prevention Day. Let's uh, talk to Alice Hendy, CEO and founder at Ripple Suicide Prevention Charity and uh, find out a little more about her work. Uh, morning to you uh, Alice. Just, just tell us first of all um, why you set up this charity. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. I set up my charity Ripple because on the 25th of November 2020, I woke up to two police officers stood at my front door who proceeded to come in and tell me that they'd found my brother Josh and that they believed him to have taken his own life. He was my only sibling, 21 years old, and life has never been the same since. Uh, and, and still so raw three years on. How does someone react when you're told news like that? It, it was just horrific. You're, you're in shock, complete shock. There is elements of guilt. You know, what were the signs I could have spotted? What did I did I do or did I not do in order to prevent this from happening? Just utter sadness, to be honest. And those emotions continue really on a daily basis for myself and my parents living without Josh. Did you get any help? Can you turn to anyone in uh, such when you're so grief stricken? There, there are some organisations that exist. So uh, Suicide and Co is one organisation that exists that's fantastic. Uh, if You Share Care is another organisation. They are specific to providing support to people who have been bereaved by suicide. But my focus really became completely obsessed on trying to prevent suicide from happening to other families. And that's why I set up Ripple Suicide Prevention. And, and have you been able to help others? Yes. Ripple is a, a browser extension. It can be downloaded on Google Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari browsers, and once downloaded, it means that if somebody was to go on the Internet and conduct a search relating to the topic of self-harm or suicide, then the Ripple technology would interrupt that search, intervene and instead signpost that person to a selection of mental health resources. And to date, it's two years that I launched the, the tool today. It's actually been downloaded now over 1.8 million times around the world. It's intercepted just under 20,000 harmful searches. And even though it doesn't track or monitor any personally identifiable information, it has actually saved 26 people from taking their life so far. Well, it's uh, very encouraging, isn't it? And, and let's just uh, remind our, our listeners, Josh has um, in fact been researching techniques, hasn't he, uh, online to, to on how to take his own life. Is it too easy to access this material? It's far too easy to access harmful material on the internet. This isn't stuff that's just available on the dark web. This is readily available material. Josh was provided with tips, encouragement, even pain scales for each method of suicide to help him make a decision. And it's those kinds of websites and those kinds of individuals that Ripple is uh, getting to those people first to let them know that actually there is a different path, there is hope, and we need you to stay around. And this um, focus on suicide risk assessment, psychiatrists calling on mental health providers uh, to stop using them immediately, calling them a tick box exercise. What are your thoughts on that? I think it really depends on the individuals who are using them, if I'm honest. I think in some capacities that they, they can be seen as tick box exercises to, to simply do a job and, and show that they've signed that, that piece off. In other situations, they're actually incredibly useful. So it really does depend on the, indiv and the individual using them properly. Having that care and compassion towards an individual who's experiencing suicidal ideation and getting them the, the right support at the right time. 
All right, well, Alice, thank you very much indeed for coming on to the programme and telling us about the, the vital and, and crucial work you're doing to help and, and indeed uh, save others. It's nice to talk to you this Sunday morning, even though it's still so raw for you, I, I do understand, but uh, important that we get the message out on uh, World Suicide Prevention Day. Thank you very much indeed.